Hello my dear friends please click the like button subscribe button and the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and today i'm going to discuss on the major topic where everybody consider this before buying a car the most common question we hear before buying a car is bhaiya ye kitna dete hai aur in tamil in the car mileage wala tarun and yes we going to discuss on this topic on how to extract the maximum fuel efficiency out of the car i will give you six tips here tip number 1 optimum tire pressure i will explain you why tire pressure is very essential in regards with the fuel efficiency for instance if the car is fully loaded with five passengers and luggage then it is recommended to pressure up your tire to 35 psi in case the car is driven by a driver with a minimal luggage then 30 psi is recommended tire pressure note that it is advisable to check the tire pressure 15 days once so it is highly recommended to use a nitrogen air instead of the normal compressed air that's because the nitrogen is less likely to migrate through the tire rubber which can maintain the stable pressure on a long run if you are planning to replace the compressed air to the nitrogen air go to the proper tire shop like apollo tires ca tires and mrf tires and get it replaced don't forget to inflate the spare tire too once done as for the green color tire pressure inlet valve caps which indicates the tire is inflated with the n2 and a negative point is it is less frequent to find the n2 filling fuel stations on an emergency it's advisable to note the fuel station or tire points on your area and get it filled before you do your long highway trips and now we'll come to the point how fuel efficiency relates with the tire pressure For example, a Volkswagen Polo weighs 1,100 kg with an average sized four adults who weigh 60 kg each with a 40 kg of luggage. So, totally it weighs 1,380 kg, which acts on the tire. So, if the tire pressure is maintained to 35 psi, the engine can pull the vehicle very effortlessly. On another hand, imagine if the tire pressure is maintained anyway between 25 to 28 psi, the tire can't help the vehicle to propel in a smooth manner. In turn, it puts the burden on the engine to get going. So here is how the fuel efficiency or the mileage is affected. Also, you may warm up the tires very easily while maintaining the low air pressure on your tires. And here is a tip too: keep the right gears and revs. Always drive in a correct gear. Try to shift the gears as soon as possible, as this won't rev the RPM more. So in turn, you get a decent mileage. These days, modern cars have a gear shift indicator option, which is very advisable to follow. Tip three. avoid hard braking for instance if you see a speed breaker or potholes take your foot off the accelerator and wait for the car to get slow down reaching the speed breaker and apply brakes gently by doing this your brake pads and brake shoes may incur less wear and tear and on a long run you may expect a slight better fuel efficiency tip 4 fill up the fuel on early morning this one is a bang for a buck tip Let us see why it is preferred to fill fuel on the morning. Normally, petroleum products expand when they are warm. So due to the expansion, you end up with a lesser percentage of the fuel for the money you have paid. In the mornings, when the temperature is cooler, the fuel is denser, irrespective of whether the fuel is in liquid form or gaseous form. So, on practicing this method, you actually won't waste fuel and gives worth the penny you spend on for fuel. Tip 5: Check if the fuel gun is locked. When you are about to fill your fuel, kindly ensure that the fuel station guy inserts the gun into the fuel tank aperture and locks the trigger and removes his hands off. By doing this, you can assure that the right volume of fuel is filled to the car. Tip number 6: Speed. This is a very sensitive and effective tip to get the better fuel efficiency. And the mantra is more the speed, more the fuel you burn. You just try to maintain your speed to 80 to 100 kilometers per hour on a highway stretch. Pushing your car beyond that may cause more fuel to burn, though you cover the same distance. So plan your travel departure an hour before and drive safe. If your car has a cruise control feature, kindly use that on your highway drive. And that's about it, guys. These tips are from my personal experience. And if you have any other ideas to increase the fuel efficiency, kindly comment below. Please subscribe to my channel for regular updates. Bye for now.